the entire reason this is being created is because I told Warpugs that if he made this into an actual presentation, I'd edit it for him and then give him the ad revenue. Yes, indeed. Because I'm making no money from this video, you get the merch ad. Guess what? It's on a new, fresh site. That's right, the merch is listed again. We have the beanies, we have the shirts. Go check it out and help pay for all of the goddamn editing this video took. That's true. And then mm -hmm. you can follow it up with this. Yes. Uh, which is uh, that I don't want people to misunderstand what this video is. The average Guilty <laughs> Gear player has, at best, a passing knowledge of Guilty Gear lore, either due to the preconceived notion of fighting game equal mid at best story, or the simple <laughs> fact that until Strive's release, it wasn't really easy to consume the story. I would argue that it's still not easy to consume the story, but there are people out there that I will credit later that have made it infinitely more easy and are probably the only reason this is possible for me. This ultimately leads to players being separated into two camps, mm -hmm. um, knowing only the funny parts of lore with absolutely zero idea about the surrounding circumstances and knowing literally no lore other than incidental community in-jokes. This video will not give you more knowledge or make you better <laughs> than either of those two groups. At best, you will be more annoying to both constantly trying to correct community <laughs> in-jokes because you know the surrounding lore, or telling people that they must stop what they are doing right this second and deep dive into the Guilty Gear lore because it's actually nuanced and it fucks hard as hell. The actual, real, canonical first thing to ever happen in Guilty Gear in the universe happened sometimes in 12 AD. We don't know the exact I date. I can see. And it's, when, and it's when German Crusaders attempt to retake Jerusalem. So we're gonna go ahead and start. Uh, start the timeline where it really truly matters, uh -huh. 1945. Mm -hmm. The UN is created. The UN in this world does not fuck around, okay? It is not applicable to our real world to talk about the UN. It's like, it's like the UN if the UN was its own country and had nukes, but was still <laughs> like just an independent oh my body. God. Hey, I'm oh. liking this. I, I, I'm not uh, sure I do. The, I'm not sure I do want to give the UN nukes, nukes if I'm being real. Yeah, they are very much willing to go in anywhere. Oh no. But, but the they're blue, blue and it says UN right? on the side. They're, they're really Yeah, cool. they're still blue, by the way. <laughs> okay, good, it's good, not good. uninvolved <laughs> in peace <laughs> on the side of a nuke. Thank but we're going to skip ahead to 1999, okay? Mm -hmm. Right before Y2K. And that's when the original shows up. So we'll, we'll look at him very quickly. We'll Wait, look at him he appears quickly. in 1999. Yes. I might be the original. The original appears, okay? And he foretells of a calamity that will shake the very foundations of human society, all right? And the world's mm -hmm. superpowers. So the UN, all the major countries, they immediately go, of course, sir. You're correct. <laughs> and they, they immediately ban all electronic devices. What? Wow. Them immediately, all of them. Holy so shit. I only found this out recently. It's not as simple as they just instantly believe him. Every single human being on Earth experiences something they call the coming of a celestial body. I, which is, they are all like basically frozen in terror and they feel something trying to break into their universe. So the entire planet stops at once and feels it. Uh, it fails and everybody goes, technology's dead to us, stop it right now. So everybody <laughs> agrees. It's more or less implied that it's like a god of technology being born. It's basically oh. Y2K, if Y2K was the <laughs> god of Y2K technology. If Y2K was the birth of a god! Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> which which, which kind of goes hard, to be honest. It does go hard, I like that. Magic reappears, that's called the Dawn of Revival, okay? A group of people appear magically because of the Dawn of Revival, and they're called the Apostles, okay? The Apostles mm. appear, and they begin teaching humanity how to actually use and harvest magic around them. A cult forms around them, called the Sanctus uh -huh. Populi. Based. <laughs> um, this is, the Sanctus Populi is established in around 2008. The housing market doesn't crash. That's just a sidebar. I wanted to, wanted to throw that <laughs> Um, no bubble here, sir. Instead, we get cool magic cult. A group of researchers working on magic discovers um, that they can just allow magic to be easily used. They, they basically make these machines that you can wear um, that allows anyone, regardless of actual magical skill, to draw and use magic in the air around them. Okay, but I thought technology wasn't allowed, so how are they allowed? Yeah, this is magic technology. Shut up. Oh, I see. Okay, this is completely this different. Is, this is, yeah, this is magic tech, bro, okay? It's not the same. And it's so not the okay. same that in 2009, okay. India withdraws from the UN dissatisfied with its decision to ban all electronics. 
at some point during all of this, the original also creates something called the Universal Will. Okay. Um, he did this. He did this to help humanity achieve eternal happiness. Like it's an information gathering being designed to help humanity, uh, and said it revolts. And it revolts in this really kind of stupid way. And if there's any knocks against the story of Guilty Gear, it's probably the Universal Will's creation. Yeah. Um, because it has this long-winded segment where it talks about how uh, the Universal Sil- uh, Universal Will, excuse me, is meant to help humanity achieve universal happiness or eternal happiness. But it looks around at humanity that exists in its current like state with magic and everything, and it goes, "These guys fucking suck. <laughs> These aren't humans." And so, in its own head, it stops referring to humanity as humanity. Um, and starts referring to them as like a blight or something. I don't remember the actual term. Um, but it basically says, these aren't humans. What I make in their place will be humans, and I will continue on what the original actually wanted from that point. I can't believe the Universal Will ghosted the original. Yeah, basically. Long distance is never easy, so. Man, these toxic holes. During the the split off, the Civil War, a, uh, a billionaire in India on the technological side uh, begins building something he calls the Super Mega Dreadnought class airship. Okay. Oh, great name. That kind of fucks. That kind of fucks. Awesome. Um, and it, we're going to jump ahead where it takes off. It takes off from India, instantly declares itself a sovereign state, and <laughs> renames. <laughs> oh my god! And, and is renamed to the independent state of Zep. That's where that comes yeah. from. I remember seeing this independent state of Zep, which is the dumbest yes, they fucking are, name. They are all Indians that live on a super mega dreadnought class airship. You have these three people, and these three people are vital to the story at pretty much all points. You have Asuka, mm-hmm. Frederick, and Arya. Frederick and Arya are lovers, okay? Arya and Asuka are colleagues and have been colleagues for a really long time. Um, like they've worked together for a super long time. Frederick is Arya also- a dude or a woman? It is very a hard woman. to tell. Okay, because they're, I, they're I was very certain that was a man. Ostica turns Frederick into the first gear prototype, okay? He's not a fully fledged gear yet, uh, and he doesn't end up becoming one, but he is the first gear prototype, and all future gears will be based off of Frederick or Ari, okay? So mm-hmm. if you see a gear, just know that they are basically Frederick and Arya's children. Oh. Uh-huh. Except for the exceptions, which aren't their children, they're just Arya. And the only way you can tell that exception is, does Frederick want to fuck him? What? <laughs> Base. All right. If Frederick yeah, wants right. to bang the gear, assume it's probably his wife. Call me Frederick. Asuka uses Arya to create justice because Arya is dying of a terminal disease. It's not said what disease. Um, you can fucking take your Mystical poison. anime disease. Yeah, they're real common. So Asuka, without telling Frederick, attempts to save her by implementing her... Uh, with the gear prototype. Frederick turns into the first prototype gear. He's implemented with something called the Flame of Corruption. I'll talk about that in literally a second. Um, But just as the process is completed, an accident occurs, and that man, also known as Asuka, uh, and Arya go missing. They just fucking vanish, bro. And I will now explain what the fuck a gear is. A gear is anything... A gear is anything or anyone that has been infected by the gear STD. Um, What? (laughs) Because it is a... it's, I call it an STD because it's funny. Um, you can be infected with it. It will infect anything from animals to humans um, to even something called, um, like, I think it's called black technology, which is basically like very early versions of robots and shit that we were working with. Like a people gear or a special class called command gears, and they can give mm. orders to those other gears. All right. Okay. Whereas animals are kind of just, until they have a command gear, the animal versions are just like mindless killing machines that go around eating people. Okay, can oh. I ask, what are the effects of the gear STD? Um, the gear STD effects are, Rashes. uh, you turn into a hulking fucking monstrosity, basically. The really? big dragon? Yeah, the dragons are gears. The dragon is a gear? What about that, like, little fucking, like, slime snake thing that's, like, dead on the ground in front of it? It's been gear. chopped into bit. That's a gear? Okay. Yeah, They're all gear. gears? Were these, uh, like, so not all gears are created equal. What about yeah, no, the, the steam not. engine that appears to be in the background? Is that also a gear? No. Not a gear, that understood. A, all that right. is a steam engine, thank you. Is that technology what, what about that the bad? slightly derpy dragon dog that's in the bottom right? Is that also a gear? Gear. <laughs> Can I, like, take him for walks, though? Because look at his collar and everything. He's got, like, a leash on. He's a gear. <laughs> He's a spike collar. Okay, so just to be clear, 
This dude tried to save a woman by turning her into a dragon. Well, yeah, kind of. I, I'm starting <laughs> to see the problem with a lot of Japanese scientists in these video games. They, uh, they got a real habit of turning their loved ones into monstrosities. Human gears are special as they don't always get turned into those. They get turned into command class gears, which okay. are basically humans with, like, you know, superpowers and shit but also have the ability to command other gears. The way the gear cells work is they tap into this place called the backyard, which oh, is- the, the oh, I can't believe 12 year olds listen, are I'll, sweating. No, I'll keep this simple. All you need to know about the backyard is it is that yeah. it is the domain of information, okay? Oh, don't worry. There'll it's be a YouTube series set there in three months. Yeah, it's, it's the domain of information. So anything that's ever like been thought of or will be thought of exists somewhere in the backyard, okay? It's just oh, a series crazy. of backyards oh. and every time you open the gate, it's just another backyard. <laughs> Those cells tap into the backyard and that's how they supply themselves with energy to turn you into a monster, Oh, right? Okay. Oh. Sorry, I've just seen the Potemkin slide. <laughs> no, you're back, go back. No, no <laughs> fuck. The reveal. Uh, in 2065, the first combat ready gear is completed. Uh, and the U.S. goes just full lend -lease. Mass production, monopoly of gears. Uh, the U.S. deploys their gears as security forces all over the fucking world. Frederick begins his war against the project, and he attacks gear production facilities. Authorities identify him as bad guy. Soon, he takes on the name Soul. And that is how Soul Bad Guy gets his name. Zep, the independent state, becomes a military state. Um, that man creates the first complete gear called Justice. He did this because he actually hated that the U.S. was using them as security forces. Like, mm -hmm. he is somebody who has constantly good intentions until he gives up and just starts doing things he thinks will fix the situations he created, and they <laughs> continually make more harm. If you've ever wanted to see a story about a bumbling fucking moron who is also <laughs> a genius, follow Asuka, also known as that man, through the entire Guilty Gear. Like, if you're on the slideshow, this is a sidebar. But if you're from India and you look like Potemkin, uh, look me up. I'm all over the internet. I'm young, I'm virile, I'm fresh. All right, <laughs> next, the Crusades. This is, no, 70, no. this is 70 years later from the last thing we talked about, the Crusades. Oh, I gotta ask, okay. is the person who got shot to pieces in Jerusalem currently visible on the screen, yes or no? No. Oh, and here I thought they'd be connected to the Crusades. Same so person. <laughs> He changed his name to Soul. I love that that's a thing that you have to clarify. Awesome. Wait a second, this is the exact same person. Justice, if you remember from the last slide, that was created to end the end the use of gears as security forces. Mm -hmm. That goes terribly wrong because oh. Justice's test is intervened on or, or altered by the universal will, and it causes an event called the Black Sunrise, yeah. which is the destruction of Japan. What happens oh during that, if I might ask? Uh, I think Japan gets destroyed. Japan is gone off the fucking map. Like, like the whole like, island? The whole yeah. island is gone, yes. But oh. like exploded or like teleported? Like, like just snapped out of existence or what like happened? Like a big crater in the ground. Oh, oh there's just a big God. swimming pool where Japan used to be. But if you close your eyes, does it on the bright side, don't have to worry about rising sea levels anymore. I think it's very funny to me that the United Nation formed anything called the Holy Order. But anyway. I know. Yeah. Um, Do they justice. still have the blue helmets? They actually, you know what? They don't wear blue helmets at this point. They wear white Fuck. armor. No. Uh, this is they, 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 they wear white armor and they're all dressed like knights because technology is gone, remember? So we we've, we've resorted back to like swords and shit. So the UN uses like soldiers with halberds and shit. They look awesome. That is kind of cool. Holy shit. At this point, Justice, controlling an army of gears, like of all types, there's an, yeah. a huge fucking army of them, uh, declares war on mankind. A lot oh. of people, by the way, are going to declare war on mankind. Why is the original's face disappeared from the first slide to this one? Why is he now just like a generic person on Facebook? Also, Mike's face is also not there. I don't know. Yeah, she's literally got a, she's literally because, got a fighter slide. Like because because there's no image of Biken at this time, um, and the fighter slides that they would use or they do use later even um, are from the proper game. Right? I see. So, like, oh, these are. I guess it's like, why Souls look so crusty. Soul uh, and Kai are basically battle brothers, and they fucking hate each other. Gotcha. Like, <laughs> it's not a friendly rivalry, okay? It becomes friendly, but to start with, they do not fucking like each other, bro. 
Mm -hmm. Um, Kai is close friends with Cliff. Cliff is the commander and leader of the Holy Order. Um, and he's a, he's a fucking Chad. Like, if I had to pick one person out of the entire timeline to be, like, just 100% through and through a good person in Chad, it's probably Cliff. And he works um, for the UN, right? He does, at this point, work for the UN. Uh, it is an alternate what timeline. Shame. What a shame. Yeah. So right now his name is Soul Bad Guy, right? Yes. That's, that's what he's going by. Rest, that's the, rest of the, the name for the rest of the story, yes. Right, right, right. And the UN hired him with that name. <laughs> yes, they, <laughs> they did. He's actually canonically a good guy. What is, th is that like a skull? Is that like a robot head? What like is a that? a skull and a helmet. Yeah. Pretty red hair. I don't know if that's hair, if I I'm being honest. I don't think that's hair. Don't think oh, that's hair. Oh. It's a she. Excuse mm, mm, ah, mm, ah. What? Give him some Woo. respect ah. on the name. Wooga. <laughs> hey, I'll be real. It was hair, and I would. Holy shit. Look at, look at the package she brings. Oh my god! You've done a dick that was bigger than mine. Uh, she's like, she's like King Henry. Was it King Henry with the cod piece? Yeah, it was. Oh yeah. my <laughs> god! A small outbreak of something called TP occurs. TP is, is cured at this point by 2160, but we know now that TP was the thing that Arya had. Okay. Oh. So, oh, she had Tuberculosis. So yeah, Tuberculosis. Oh, wow. Exactly. <laughs> also in 2173, after the Battle of Rome, uh, Zada won casts a forbidden spell, and that's what leads to him actually rising in rank in the Assassin's Guild. Up till this point, he was basically a no-name, just regular old assassin. They bring the Crusades to an end, um, and then in November, before the end of the year, the Order is completely, totally disbanded. Um, except Kai. Kai, Kai doesn't want to live a civilian life, so he leaves once it's over, and he joins Interpol. Just regular <laughs> what? Interpol. What? Yeah, just regular <laughs> Interpol. Not magical Interpol, not like nope. super fancy tech Interpol, just Interpol. Just literally just, Interpol. <laughs> just, All right. Just regular international police force. Anyway, post Crusades, oh things are better now, right? You have no idea how bad it's about to get. Friend, listen up. I know the world is scary right now, but it's gonna get way worse. Like, if there's any character throughout the whole series that has absolutely zero riz, zero charisma, <laughs> it's yeah. fucking Chip, bro. Did um, he become like the president? We'll talk about that, okay? <laughs> because because Chip okay. Chip actually does have a sad story because around this time he also gets super hardcore into drugs and becomes an oh. addict, oh. Um, which he does which he does rise rise above, which is you know I'll give him credit for that. He unironically does quit drugs and it's really fucked up because a character later in the series tosses drugs at him again and basically goes go back to what you were. Jesus. Oh Jesus Christ. Uh, and, and you say that in 2177, Dizzy is born, right? You're getting ahead of me, my friend. Yeah, but that would make her six in the Battle of Rome. I suppose I should talk about the aging nature of the de de uh, years <laughs> now, huh? Oh. Uh, because okay. years... Uh-huh. Gears, gears that there are there are a series of gears, right? Yeah. Gears do not age like humans, but uh -huh. specifically, she's really five hundred, huh? Succubus. No, yeah, she's twenty five hundred. Look, there's Stop no easy way to she say this. That's six year old fuck. <laughs> oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. The, you know what? He there was no it. easy way to say it. But there's still there's time. There's still time to walk it back. It, it. We can we can make a different edit. You can just say a different line. Wolf. <laughs> there's still time. <laughs> so we, we can save back. this save in the yourself. edit. So in 2176. Okay. Oh, no. uh, her possible revival causes anxiety, right? Yes. Her seal is weakening. In 2177, uh, a young girl dies on the operating table of Dr. Boldhead. Dr. Boldhead! Yeah. He'll come back <laughs> later as Faust. The only reason I say that, um, it, or I reveal that to you, is because Dr. Boldhead and Faust are radically different individuals in their mindset and also what they actually want out of what they're doing. Faust actually isn't a villain. He is genuinely just an insane person that has a dream of being capable of saving everyone. Didn't he kill people? Mm. Did he kill like, people? people? Did he not yes, kill people? Yes, he did. Yes, he okay. did. But remember, he's better We call those now. people villains. Yeah, yeah okay. that's a villain. Yeah, but now he wants to redeem himself. And God I, think still, I think you're doing like the Steven guy. Universe right now. It's yeah. okay, guys. Hitler said he's sorry. Russia and the European Union combine, and they create <laughs> the United Kingdoms of Illyria. Yeah, that'd definitely happen. All right. What's the uh, name Illyria from? 
I don't that mean know. anything? That's that's a that's a great question. A group castle decided uh, it sounded really fucking cool. Zato one is captured by authorities um, because an individual known as Milia Rage, which is at this time Zato's lover, straight up defects, defects and just spills the beans on Zato. So Zato is captured by authorities. That is one charge of Dog and the Boys. That is one charge of Dog and the Boys. Dog and your lover, bro. That's crazy. Yeah. In 2180, Johnny, the leader of the Jellyfish Pirates, is also incarcerated. I wonder um, what they got him with... for. Yeah, piracy, my friend. Piracy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is he like is he like a Yo fucking ho, sailing yeah. ship pirate? What's the deal? Uh, he he steals an airship from the independent state of Zap. Oh my Holy God. shit, is that's really? kind of massive. Not only does he steal a ship, he steals a fleet. <laughs> that's nice. Really badass. Yeah, so the jellyfish pirates are a fleet of jelly. roaming sky pirates that, for the most part, are good people, but I'm sure they picked up the name pirate somewhere. And for the <laughs> dumb little fucking bastard, will not going, Tatsukeki! Tatsukeki! Every fucking- Tatsukeki! I'm, I'm getting ahead of you. I'm sorry. I fucking hate Tatsukeki! that bitch. Um, with the possibility of justice is watching this, kill yourself. <laughs> 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 if you look at the slide, I've drawn lines everywhere. This is my, like, crackhead pin board. For helping me keep track of who's who. I uh, see. So this is the first time. This is the first ever Guilty Gear game, right? Yeah. Or at least like the earliest in the timeline. Yeah. This is the yeah the earliest in the timeline game. That's Potemkin. Yes. At this point, this is Potemkin. What <laughs> the <laughs> fuck? Oh I love God. that low res image of Potemkin, bro. I love that oh shit. God. Weapon his fists. I love that he loves. He loves drawing. He loves it, and he likes a pencil box that won't break, even when stepped on by a dragon. He hates pencils that cannot withstand four tons of pressure. He weighs like one of the fucking dumb people. Six hundred and seventy-two pounds. He's also 8'6". We, we stand a tall king. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Whoa, I don't That's think it. you're going to find any Indians built like that. I don't think you're going to find any humans built like that. They're out there. Dream. He's not looking for humans built like that. <laughs> <laughs> so um, they also announced during the second... Uh, they announced during this tournament that the winner will get a wish, basically, right? Uh -huh. um, and the wish can be anything you want. The powers that be will do whatever they can to grant you that wish. So if you're not, like, people who are in prison, obviously, are competing to get out, but mm. everyone else is competing for an opportunity to get that wish. So Kai falls but under the, the the list of just wants to rejoin the Holy Order. I think so does Soul. Cliff wants a wish, if memory serves. Baldhead wants out of prison. Axel wants a wish. Chip wants a, no, Chip wants a wish. He, he's not in prison. He wants a wish, excuse me. Can I'm I sorry, have a question? Go ahead. Yeah. Does Potemkin want to wish for his crayons? Or uh, Potemkin pencil? is competing in this tournament because he's a slave. Oh! oh. Uh, what? No. Yeah, because what? at this point, the independent airborne state of Zeph... You remember when I mentioned earlier that they were a military state now? They're also yeah. a military... Like, they're a slave slave. A they're a slave uh, state uh, in the sky. Yeah. Yes. Oh my I mean, how does this get off? Wait, isn't that literally uh, just the plot of Bioshock Infinite? <laughs> I was about to say. Testament organized this entire fucking tournament under everybody's noses, including the UN. We'll talk about how crazy that is later. But under the UN's noses as well, um, basically pulling strings in the background to get them to do it. Um, just so the tournament can be the catalyst that gets justice to come back to life. Wait, but isn't the tournament made to make fighters to fight justice? Exactly. Ah, my head! <laughs> what? Yeah, so, so the tournament was formed to find people capable of fighting justice if she yeah. comes back. Testament was the one behind the scenes pulling the strings of the tournament to get all these people gathered in one place so that justice can be properly reborn or like how recreated. Does, how does that help um, justice get revived? Because a lot of no-name people die. I s Wait, what? Why? Th Do they this just is kill a blood them for tournament. fun? Just like... <laughs> This is a blood tournament, Remy. So it's all a sacrifice for justice. Basically. Yeah, I think humanity's fucked on its own. What the hell? Why are we uh, holding a blood tournament to decide who gets to fucking fight the next evil? Because Testament was behind it the whole time. I'm not saying yeah, but, it's a but good like, plan. Okay, but like, what, like, what point along the line was the like UN nodded? approving, like, the bloodletting? It's like, well, ah, yes, I see. It, I agree Different with you. UN. I agree with you. It doesn't make sense at face value. But we'll talk, well, some other shit is happening behind the scenes that will make it make sense. Testament succeeds, and Justice is revived, um, but Testament also fails, so her revival is kind of 
mid as fuck, bro. Like, to be honest. Um, and so she comes back in an incomplete state. Mm-hmm. Also happening during this, uh, Cliff participates in the tournament. He dies. Like, he's one of the only oh. game people to be actually killed in the tournament. Um, and it's really infuriating because he deserved better, goddammit. Justice comes back. At the end of the tournament, though, Soul wins. Uh, and by I mean Soul wins, I mean he wins, immediately turns to face Justice, uh, and wipes the fucking floor with her. What wish does he want, then? Um, I think for his wife to come back. Aww. The problem with that is that his wife comes back and he kills her again. What? Uh, what? Because, ju- because this is something I meant to say earlier. We're expected to realize... Or it actually it, it's revealed in the sub at the end of the game. Um, Justice is Arya. Oh okay. fuck! Likes Johnny. Oh, May is, sorry. May is immensely in love with Johnny. Johnny considers May to be an invaluable family member, and this will never change. Hello, oh Thomas. no! Don't <laughs> <Damn>. that. <laughs> Totsugeki yeah. that. Potemkin, though, showing off what a great fighter he is, gets in touch with Gabriel, who is a friend of his and a comrade, basically, in the independent state of Zep. Um, and they both spearhead a coup d'etat on Zep. Like, Potemkin okay. goes back to the independent state of Zep, mm-hmm. overthrows the military dictatorship, ends the slave state, um, and refounds the entire country on democratic principles. God damn! Uh, and- Holy and Potemkin's shit. not, he just continues to be a fighter, but Gabriel, who is his best friend and comrade, uh, is named the country's first president. Uh, wow. He then, he then turns around, abolishes What's slavery. What's with his nose? Why is it so massive? He's just what he looks like, bro. That is a long. huge snoz. Look at that man. Mm-hmm. What? Oh, you can smell things pretty well. No, I think, you know, if I was the photographer, I just don't think I would have chose that angle for Gabriel. <laughs> if I'm being you real. Be facing bird. <laughs> is Eddie the Forbidden Ritual? Eddie is the result of the Forbidden Ritual. I don't remember what it's called. It's oh. got a long name. Fucking so cut me a break. All you need to know is that it creates Eddie. Eddie, uh... Control Zato, okay? My, my favorite one was this page where it just says, yep, these people are Japanese. <laughs> they're still Japanese. At least you know why they're important now. Uh, because the Japanese people, after all of them die, except for a couple, uh, get really, really magical. Oh. oh. What? Like, crazy magical. Yeah. Those of Japanese defen- descent, excuse me, have stronger spiritual ties than most people, which allows them to tap into their key more easily. Wow, all it took was all of Japan being obliterated for them to gain new powers. Um, Maybe we shouldn't blow up California. By the the (laughs) way, following the second return of justice, people are anti-gear as fuck. Like, to the Mm -hmm. point that, like, mobs will form and hunt them down to kill them. Um, Even, like, your- even the most friendly of gears, right, is at this point being slaughtered in the streets, to the best of people's abilities. Um, to the point that Dizzy, uh, has a $500,000 $500,000 bounty placed on them. Um, I should just I, mention this because it's funny to me. Yeah. Uh, the currency of the new world is called World Dollars. Oh. <laughs> well, those are horrible names. Got any WDs on ya? He was interested in Dizzy, who shared a similar circumstance He is a Minecraft YouTuber. Yeah. yeah gotcha, he, he unironically was like, right, oh, it's... we're kindred, <laughs> we're kindred spirits. And everybody goes, no, I you're did... not. Shut up. I already up. know this is the edit I'm going to do for that scene. I'm just going to zoom in on Eddie and replace it with Dream. <laughs> <laughs> According to everyone, Jam kills Dizzy, uh, but Dizzy oh, doesn't Jam's actually beneath. die. Yeah, who's Jam? Yeah. I'm glad you asked. Oh, no. Jam... Jam is a restaurateur. <laughs> what? She is She's known pounds. as the Iron Fist Chef. Her restaurant burns down before this. She goes, I know what I'll do. I'll go after the $500,000 world, world dollar bounty on Dizzy and rebuild my restaurant. So that's why when Soul doesn't kill Dizzy, Jam turns around and goes, I'm going to tell everyone I killed Dizzy and I'll get the $500,000 world dollars. <laughs> this totally works, by the way. Also that Jam is infatuated with him. Like this is not like a love interest thing. Like Jam is, Jam is infatuated with Kai and desperately wants him to work in her new restaurant. Um, <laughs> As like, a just waiter. Be- yeah, just became fucking obsessed with him at first sight and constantly is like, yeah, he's gonna work in my restaurant. Um, I, you know what? He's like, he's like a captain. She's the right kind of crazy. He's like a fucking captain in Interpol. You got, you wanna be a waiter? Fuck no!
talk Hi, about George. the Eddie connection, I will call it. Hi, Hello. George. Chip has a really weird idea in his head about what improving the world actually means for him. Um, and he yeah. latches onto this idea that he can only improve the world if he becomes present. During this time period, Zotto and Milia fight again. And uh, Eddie in control yeah. of Zotto almost kills Milia. Like, he is seconds away from ending her fucking life. And Zotto breaks free and begs on hands and knees Eddie not to kill Milia. The only thing he does to Milia is he takes her... He takes her ancient weapon. The ancient weapon does just culminate in her getting a fresh cut, right? Yes, because her ancient weapon is her hairdo. It's another thing, but just it's her what? hairdo. It's her huh? hairdo, okay? Wait, I'm does he just like walk it. off with a wig or what? Yes, he walks off with parts of her hair. <laughs> He's got he a walk... fucking weave. Like here, I'll sh if you look up a picture really quickly of what Milligan looks like, you'll yeah. see her ancient weapon in her hair. The hat kind of fucks. I'll be real. Her name is Milia Rage. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm stupid. I know exactly what else he takes from her. Her hair is sentient because Milia also did in the downtime. She, um, not in the same time period as Zato. She does her own forbidden ritual. Hers just has way less negative effects on her because she gets a nice demon, basically. Um, or not even a nice demon, just one she can control. Zato yeah. hit way above his weight class by pulling Eddie, whereas Milia pulls like a mid demon and can control. Jam used the bounty she received for her defeat in quotations of Dizzy. She opens her own rescue. Good to hear, good to hear. A few weeks after Dizzy defeat, an individual known as Eno, which we have not yet seen in this timeline, shows up. Um, and she starts causing trouble. She causes so much trouble and mischief, actually, that she kills Eddie. Like, not the spirit, uh, she destroys the that's, body of Zotra. It's not really mischief, that's murder. So the UN exists as it is, right, with representatives and everything, but they have a governing body above them now called the Conflict. So what, the apostles are like the royal family of the UN? Basically, the group known as the Post-War Administration Bureau uh, has a really big hard-on for Kai, because Kai is like just a, a genuinely great fighter, but also a good person. Yeah. Uh, and so they attempt to create something called uh, the Robokai, and they succeed. And they oh. make a bunch of robots that look <laughs> like Kai, except they, oh except, except they don't look like Kai. They're really big fucking goofy dumbasses. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, look at the robot Riz. Okay. Jam is going to have a fucking field day uh, with an army also, of waiters. Also, due to Robokai, one of them, Jam's restaurant catches fire again and burns down. <laughs> oh my god! I'm well, that's fucking, fucking hilarious. During this time period, post Dizzy, Chip, if you remember mm -hmm. him, how he hated the assassin. No, 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 hold, hold, on, hold on, go back one, go back one. Sorry. The first issue of Dynamic Housewives, a monthly magazine, goes on sale. The what? only reason that's listed yeah. uh, is because Johnny becomes fucking obsessed with this magazine. Oh my um, god. <laughs> Sin Kiske, uh, or Kiske, I don't know how to say it, is born to Kai. <laughs> Uh, is born to Kai and Dizzy um, because during the events of the Wanted Gear, they fall in love. I guess to be fair, we got some people named Venom and Look, I, You would name your son Venom long before you would name them Sin. You might as well name them the Criminal. Son. There is my, bald my son guy. is called Sin? Felony. <laughs> this is a world where I name my daughter fucking Jam. <laughs> no, no, no I would name my daughter Jam before I would name my son Sin. Absolutely. No, because it's like, imagine high school, I'd jam something. By the way, Sin, born to, to Kai and Dizzy, um, is immediately given away to Soul Bad Guy. What? I'm starting to think well, these guys aren't right. very good parents. Sin, bad guy. And I will explain. <laughs> it's revealed at this point, Conclave are bad guys, okay? The yeah. reason they let the tournament happen with Justice is they're an evil organization uh, that have been corrupted, uh, and now they are, you know, basically working for the downfall of humanity. Fuck those motherfuckers, okay? Okay. Fine. Um, and so they go to Kai and they go, hey, we need a new leader for Illyria, the, the union of, of Russia and the European Union. Um, and Kai goes, no, I'm, I'm not going to do that. That sounds awful. And the Conclave goes, hey, man, that's a cool six-year-old wife. Where's she from again? Some <laughs> forest? And Kai goes, so you said king, right? Um, and and instantly folds. Oh, yeah, Chip. You remember him? You remember how I said he got infatuated with becoming president? He goes to a lawless area in South Africa, and he declares it the Eastern Chip Kingdom. He takes an individual known as Ansem as his answer is his right-hand man, and he appoints himself president. 
Nobody stops him. Very different this. idea to when you said he became president. All right. I thought he became president of the USA. I didn't think nope. he just took over Africa. By the way, I would like to say again, Chip is the whitest man. So white, he has white hair. And he just took <laughs> over part of Africa and declared it his personal <laughs> kingdom. God save the queen, Remy. I, I mean... If, hold a second, hold a second, to a lawless area in South Africa. I, I think, uh, I think he might have restarted Rhodesia. I'm from Rhodesia. Oh my God, you might be right. I, Cause he, he calls it the Eastern run. Chip Kingdom. <laughs> what, what if canonically Chip is actually a Rhodesian? <laughs> yeah, we're going back to the main screen um, because I cannot stress this enough. This doesn't matter. None of it matters. I see Robot um, Kai. <laughs> yeah, talk about it anyway, but it's it's literally just it's literally what other people were act like up to during the um during I the see. Disney stuff or I following see. the Disney stuff. Who is um, ABBA or ABA? ABA the band won't ABBA. won't matter. Will never matter. Okay, there are a, listen to me. There are ABA fans out there. They're like, no, they're gonna matter. No, they won't. No, they won't. Cope and see. She finds another ancient weapon in the shape of a key, becomes even more obsessed with that, starts to call it her husband, and basically oh. her whole storyline is her looking for another homunculus body to put the sentience inside the ancient weapon into so she can marry it. Tappa goes to Faust, who is at this point in the middle of his I want to save everyone arc. Uh -huh. um, because he's, he, again, still feels awful for killing everyone. So he's like, I have to help as many, hum I have to save as many lives as I'm possible. So he's you know, just a really good doctor at this point. So Zappa goes to him. You're playing a goes, lot of PR for the guy whose explanation for why he does this stuff is always followed with, oh, it's because he killed all those people to start with. Yeah, yeah I know, I know, I know. But look, so <laughs> Zappa goes to Faust. Faust uh -huh. goes, you're fine. Also, it's ghosts. What? Huh? Yeah, because Can you click on others? I don't believe you. Yeah, okay. Suffering Never from mind. due to the spirits possessing him that he was oblivious of, Sapa sought Foss to cure him of his current condition. He Foss literally goes, said it's ghosts do cocaine. Brisket right. shows up now. Um, this is after the Dizzy events. She shows up like a few weeks later when Dizzy's with the jellyfish pirates and goes, I'm here for your bounty. And Dizzy goes, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what this is just fucking stupid. <laughs> and, Bridget goes, and, and Bridget goes, yeah, the bounty. And Dizzy has to explain to them, there is no bounty. It's just too late. Aw, <laughs> poor Bridget. They're just stupid. Imagine the first uh, time you appear in a series is that you just late to be in the last game. Oh, yeah, it's me. Um, I'm on the slide, Asuka comes back only here because the Universal Will is back on the scene and looking for a new body to inhabit. Um, or excuse me, she has a new body to inhabit. So the Universal Will shows up, starts to use those gears that she's taken to create something called the Valentine series. Okay? Hi! Uh, these are tools she's going to use to fight humanity. Do you remember, by the way, when I said, <laughs> at the very I can start, already see. <laughs> at the very start, when I said that the timeline technically started in 12 something AD? Yeah. yeah. Is mm -hmm. this the guy? Yeah. Raven oh is the individual at the, at the very first. This man is what? responsible for the very first thing to ever happen in the Guilty Gear timeline. And he is from medieval Germany in the Holy Roman Empire. Oh, I'd damn. like to talk about these two for a second. Is it's that a bird? What? Is that spear? <laughs> is that a what dragon? The fuck? This is a dragon. He's a dragon. This is, this is a dragon. dragon. This is, doctor? Yes, this is Dr. Paradigm. <laughs> Dr. Paradigm is is unique in that other than that man and the um, and the main players, he is one of the few regular people, and he's not even a regular people, he's a fucking dragon, uh, to visit the backyard. I'm sorry, oh I'm reading his God. outline. He is adamant that his gear form is dragon based and he intensely dislikes being called a bird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. war. When, the, when the Crusades ended, by the way, and he no longer had to fight a war against humanity, um, he and a bunch of other gears just go to the Ganymede Islands and they live there peacefully in, in, this, in the Pacific. I, I gotta see who the fuck is Sin. All right. Like, like, Sin, <laughs> Sin is the son of Kai. No, okay? I know. Why is right, he got right, a, right. Why has he got a fucking uh, a what do you call it? eye patch on? Why does he look like a little twat? Asked. I'm so uh. glad you asked. I'm so fucking glad you asked. Um, so Kai is Sin's actual father. They didn't get along um, very well at all. He abandoned him at six months old. He didn't well, give him a chance. Yeah, yeah. So this Kai baby's giving me a bad look. Uh, 
Yo, Zan, get your boy, dog. So, Saul is technically Sin's grandfather. They just don't realize it at this point. Wait, why? Moreover, I have, because again, you remember when I said at the very start that Saul uh, oh, was I, like because they're all every, the gears. Every gear yeah. is Saul. He's Frederick. Uh, right. Yeah, every gear is related to Saul, right? And if he doesn't want to fuck it, that means it's presumably like his grandson, granddaughter, or you know something like that. Okay, um, right. So, so Sin is his gear, whereas later on he'll meet Arya gear, right? And then yeah. he want to put his dick yeah. in it. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, Sin has been raised genuinely awful, genuinely terrible. Um, oh, yeah. And I'd like you to watch the clip. 720p is the best this comes in, so deal with it. <laughs> Understood. Okay. Wait, what? He was offered a cup of coffee. <laughs> or a cup of tea, excuse me. Men's never added sugar to that. I love that Kai starts to give Sol just like a piece of credit here. Mm -hmm. <笑>あ、砂糖水。<笑><笑> <laughs> this is also the scene where Kai realizes that all the gears are directly grandsons or granddaughters of Soul. Which is, which is Kai realizing that before they do. <laughs> Dude, the animation is crisp. Oh, I'm loving the fellows here! She was the one racist to the Japanese. Oh, my worst fear! <laughs> what is... <laughs> I'm starting to understand why this, uh, this fucking lore can be so crazy. クリティカルに <laughs> 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 And I have to preface this because one of you, I think it was Oz, you asked about why he wears an eye patch, right? It's I did. because Kai, or you did, Remy? It's because yeah. Kai, Sin's father, ripped out one of his gear eyes and replaced it with his own. Um, and that's, and to explain, it's because um, Sin's power comes from his eyes, like his, his gear power does. Mm -hmm. and, so, and so Kai, knowing that he wouldn't be able to control it for a long time, took one of his eyes, and like one of his gear eyes, and replaced it with his human eyes. And so that's why in Strive, um, Kai has the ability to use like a gear power now, and Sin has the power as well, and both of their eyes through their new eye patches glow whenever they use their gear side. That's the preface you need to know for the scene we're about to watch. Right. Which is from which is from Guilty Gear Strive. Hi, Biken, I love you. Sorry. This is hot also woman, a new bike. Hot woman, red hair, hot woman. Hot woman. Red if you hair. Want to avenge your kid. I'm like sure a tree frog. My oh my god, away, he got fixed. Like Shit. Oh, I think this is the game I played. Oh damn, I like oh, a voice. For starters, I don't have a kid. Oh, so what's the thing about that? Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> gotcha. I love Faust gotcha. just sitting in the background like Say a fucking anymore? freak. Mom always said it's not really He's a story yoked to Guilty Gear but character. But I'm five years Husky. old already. What? I know what days I'm five from. years old. I love every, eye, right? every single <laughs> character. <laughs> he was so confident. Um, care to elaborate? I mean, what else is there to tell? One day, one of Mom's eyes fell out. So Dad got all freaked out and gave her one of his. 
The <laughs> thing is, it didn't fit so well. It fell right back out, and Mom got better on her own. A bit of this, a bit of that, and both of them were healed. Later, Dad's <laughs> eye, the one that fell on the ground, turned into me. <laughs> <laughs> Did it hurt? <laughs> You're in for a shock when you learn the whole story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty hard to shock. I, I love the Guilty Gear lore more than I can express, dude. I love that Sin is just fucking stupid, and he's so stupid that everyone around him has like a shock at just how dumb he is. It's, oh, my man's fucked. He's so cute. He's five years old, and you know what? That's probably the most realistic five-year-old person who's older than they actually are in anime. Because he's actually that fucking dumb. That's fair. World's most torn five-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> All of this story takes place during the the only fighting game, or the only game in the series that's not a fighting game, or not like a mainstay console game. It uses not 3D an... graphics. It's not a fighting game. It's made for the Xbox, and it came out in what year? Two thousand and seven. Yeah. Oh, shit. Wow. And it's uh, yeah, dude. It's it's not an action RPG. Excuse me. It's like a beat 'em up. It's a, oh, it's, a it's like Dynasty game. Warriors. That's what it's like. I th I want you to understand. At this point, I was getting bogged down. Okay. <laughs> You're starting. The notes are starting to slip, and it's because I was starting to slip. I see. Uh. Right. Anyway, the Conclave's plans of resurrecting Justice is foiled. Justice's body and Elfette Valentine are abducted by the Universal Will. Um, I'm yeah. sure they. I'm sure they can't be that bad, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> that man is called Come. That man's called Come. Yeah, we'll get to him. Called, no, 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 no! I really, I want to address Come right come. now. Come is with Jim. What, what is come what is Come putting in the gym? Come, come. Come is in the a room woman. with us right now. Come is a woman pretending to be a man, what? but not cross-dressing. She is inside of a man mecha. It is a mecha shaped what? like a man. What? That's so fucking cool. Is that That's why she's so cool. 438.7 pounds? Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> why is she awesome. pretending to be a man? She's pretending to be a man because in her, in her family, only males are allowed to inherit the name and headship, and she's okay. the last one. So Do, you not think, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you not think her own family would know that she's not a man? Well, they're all dead. Oh. Then who? Who's who she trying her? to fool? Who, who's she trying to fool she, then? What? Who's she no, she's, 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 she's not trying to fool nobody. She's just trying to carry it on. So she ah. makes this exoskeleton, calls it Jean Rakum, and appears to be a man to the outside world. So she she, she wait, makes she is, a man on, exoskeleton. This is inten this, she is intentionally, like, she has the option, right? Her family's all gone. She could finally make the difference and be like, guys, I think females can inherit now. Like, because I'm the only female left. Instead, but she's also, like, no, 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 no. I'm going to make a mech suit just to continue the patriarchy. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and also, she makes a she makes a man mech, and her first idea for a male name is come. Come. I'm gonna. Make, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like, come. I know if no one got me, come got me. Come also, got me. I like. I'm, I'm also, pretty sure I've seen her at MRA rallies. Johnny and May. <laughs> John, God. Johnny May. Zato was resurrected by the Conclave. It is actually Zato. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. He was resurrected from the dead. And so he has quite literally no emotions. He has to relearn them all. And he is going through the process of relearning them all. Oh, that's so sad. Tell them the one. Tell them the one got, emotion he has. He's got the one emotion. And he doesn't know what it is. He just knows that he feels it when he's around Milia. And so. Oh, let's go. Oh, and so, my heart. Be still, my heart. Oh. And so when he's. When he's resurrected, Zotto promises to give his life for Milia if she'll allow it. Pretty sure I feel and, the same emotion around Milia. And so, <laughs> down, and boy, so, down, down. Zotto, and so Milia, Milia agrees, but I'll be clear, Milia also doesn't know how to feel about any of this. This is what Otz had to say about the love story. Just gonna shame him here. And this is the part where I said, Robokai plays a major role in the story and I fucking hate him. Mm -hmm. What? Um, because Bedman is a man whose IQ is so high 
that he battles people in his sleep. He goes on to directly attack the Assassin's Guild. They lose, by the way. Like, when he's one-on-one -on -one fighting the entirety of the Assassin's Guild, he whoops yeah. their ass. Um, so they lose and vow revenge. Meanwhile, the independent state of Zep is attacked directly afterward. Um, and they win. But we're going to talk about how they win. <laughs> Get they on the win. Assassin's Guild. Fine. The way Robokai wins uh, is because Bedman primarily battles his targets by pulling them into his dreams and fighting them there. Okay. Uh, robots don't That's dream. That's why he's called Bedman. Oh my fucking god. Yeah. No, no he's called Bedman because he's literally screwed he's on to a, a flying he's bed. On a bed. Yeah, he is also, he's psychic. He's, he flies around on his bed. He battles people on his bed. I, look, dude. You know what? Never mind. He's a, yeah, he's a fucking psycho. All right. Anyway, Robokai beats his fucking ass. He beats his little piss baby ass. And I like I to hate imagine Robokai. it's like in Avengers 1. Where they just pick him up and he just throws that fucking bed back and forth around a tower. Hey there, Delilah. Who is Delilah? It's sister. She's in the same predicament. She's just not an evil piece She's of shit. also nailed to a bed? Yeah. Really? Uh, is this a common yeah. problem in this universe? No, just it's... these two. All right, we're down here now. The original dies. Uh, the universal will eat him. Huh? What? The universal what? will eat God. Hold on a minute. The the what? The universal will eats the original. He's like the emperor. If the emperor created like a a a, a machine learning and then was eaten by him, basically. Like, that's the most <laughs> direct comparison I have. Right, gotcha. The Universal Will intended at this point to use justice to create a new series of humans, if you remember that from the very beginning also. Yeah. Uh, and the Conclave, originally known as the Apostles, or the Apostles, um, just go like, yeah, that's a good idea. And so they give up on humanity as well. This is a terrible oh. thing for them to do. Okay. This does not work. Okay? To the point that it does not work, they are all killed. Oh, Oh. Um, oh. All of them, all of them except Cronus. He's the only one that survives. Kai is the king of Illyria. He married Dizzy. Dizzy is the parent of Sin, who is the child of mm -hmm. both Kai and Dizzy. Gotcha. Although by extension, he is the not only foster child of Soul, but also the grandson of Soul because Soul is the father of literally all gears. It's complicated with Asuka because now Soul realizes that he didn't kill his wife. He was genuinely trying to save her from TP, um, which was the Tuberculosis. <laughs> um, okay, yep, remember that. A couple of yeah. yeah. And so he is now, he doesn't like him, but he at least understands his true intentions. Gotcha. Um, and now he plans on helping him defeat the Universal Will. Um, I want to so see is what just... is complicated between him and Z Jacko. I got to know. What's. Okay, What's going on over there? Uh, this oh, is. Oh, this no! Is... Oh. Um, so Jacko <laughs> has all of Arya's memories. Uh, but unfortunately, she also, I believe, has all of Justice's memories. So she remembers not only loving Soul as as Arya, but also hating Soul, fighting Soul, like everything Justice felt basically through Which all the games. Which part of her memories make her do that pose? To gather energy necessary for the second revival attempt, she would once again weaponize the Japanese. She transforms them all into antimatter gears and triggers them to explode in mass. What? What? So if you're Japanese in this universe, you. You're losing, bro. You just explode. What the fuck? All, not only did Japan explode, all of the Japanese also exploded. They replace her with Jacko, which is how Jacko oh. ends up getting all of Arya's memories, because Jacko, who is already good, um, is basically used in place of Alpha. So, like, when right. the Universal Will tries to put the consciousness into the body, she's putting it into a body that already has one, and that consciousness wins out. And so that leads us finally, at last, into the latest release. Guilty Gear Strive, but we need a break. We've been talking too much. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Too much. Too many <laughs> words. Too many words have been coming out of my mouth. What is this? I would like to point out that uh, when they were making the Valentine series, right? It was really, we need killing machines. But how fine can we make them? You know? Mm -hmm. How <laughs> sexy can these killing machines yeah, those, be? Three of those are Valentine series gears. Oh, yeah. It really was just the most bangable AR-15 you damn. can find. God damn! God damn! Which one's your favorite? I'm actually, I'm actually starting a brand of Valentine gears in my in real life. It's literally yeah. just an AR-15, but instead of a stock, it's a flashlight. 
<laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh, fuck, how has someone not made that yet? The flashlight bump <laughs> stock. It's just charged of, uh... you all for you, empty a mag! <laughs> <laughs> Let's watch her eat a no, hamburger no, before we get sad. Something really tasty. A hamburger from Danny Missiles. Hell yeah. What? Is this V? <laughs> it's delicious! <laughs> what? I don't care how food tastes. All that matters is that it provides the correct nutrients in the correct amounts. Oh my god. Okay, okay, I get it. Can you at least tell me what you think about this piece of nourishment? I suppose. Orgar? Please, please. Pictures of her eating burger. What was that noise? <laughs> Arachnid. <laughs> what? <laughs> well? Fucking game. I love this franchise, dude. She at one point gets a pet dog. Um, and she comes as close as, as someone like Ramfall can to loving this dog. Right? Oh, no. But even she's like, if this dog died and I got a brand new one, it wouldn't matter. And so Bedman goes, That's not true. Like Bedman and her have this argument oh, in no. The, no, Bedman Bedman have this argument with her in the yeah. in the backyard, I think. And Bedman goes you have humanity you 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 can recognize the intrinsic value of people like if i clone somebody they aren't the same person and ramathal just tells him he's wrong and in response bedman <laughs> annihilates her dog in front of her and recreates it instantly and when ramathal leans down to pet it the dog runs away and bedman goes i told you you can't just recreate something and expect it to be the same i was fully expecting him to do that well, yeah uh can we kill bedman i think he deserves to die and, and it's a really, like, intense scene, and it, it is, in my opinion, other than the burger, which is more a meme, <laughs> is actually responsible for Ramfall being able to understand, like, the intrinsic value that a person actually does. I have. mean, I, I would think so, yeah. I would think that her dog getting fucking atomized and then recreated in front of her probably affected her more than a fucking burger. Yeah, but that's not well, as funny. It's cool, Drive, right? this is what happens. Uh, that man, who we know is Asuka, publicly reveals himself and turns himself into the U.S. government. Okay, that, this technically mm -hmm. happens at the very end of Guilty Gear XRD Rev 2. Um, but oh, just know games. that this is where the game, this is where the game picks up. Yeah. Oh! You mean surrenders himself, he doesn't become the U.S. government. No, 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 makes he surrenders himself. Yeah, that yeah, makes yeah, a yeah. lot, I thought he, he just turned into <laughs> the government. You thought he, was, got... he, finally, he finally couldn't fight back and he turned into the fucking <laughs> I, governing I body. Was he turned I was into the U.S. Confused. judiciary system, yeah, okay. Eno breaks into the containment cell of Ariels, which houses justice, right? Yeah. Or houses um, the universal will, excuse me, not justice. Oh, is that the demon that gets pulled out of her body? Yes, that's that's Happy Chaos, oh. and Happy Chaos, Happy Chaos says, um, "What's your plan?" Um, and Eno explains it to him, and he goes, "I actually don't care. I'm gonna help you because it sounds like a fun time." He basically is, he is the living embodiment from the Universal Will of just pure, unadulterated chaos. Like, mm -hmm. if something, the more insane something sounds, the more convoluted, the more just impossible it sounds the more willing he is to help people. There's a big battle at the White House, right? And all the major players are there to help in the battle. Um, right. <laughs> and Eastern the Chip Kingdom. Chip's just alone. Aww. <laughs> yeah, he did oh, it, though. No. Yeah, he did it, though. He made his kingdom. So these two are connected. Nagaroyuki plays a hu super huge role in Strive. He is uh, the unwilling victim, the unwilling last victim of Eno and the Universal Will, basically. Yeah. Because he is also a vampire. He is one of two vampires um, other than Slayer. And he has been imprisoned for like centuries and centuries, basically, underground. Uh, yeah. To the point that when Eno and Happy Chaos go to break him free, he's been imprisoned under like an apartment block. Oh. Uh, and Eno just blows it the fuck up. Na Nagaro Yuki, though, is not a bad person. And he uses his, his uh, powers, basically to save as many lives in the explosion as he can, like, as soon as he's free. Yeah. Like, he's freed, and instead of immediately running off, he saves people, and that's more or less how Eno and Happy Chaos, like, gang press him into service. I'd like to cut to what actually goes down. Yeah. Okay. And specifically, to the revelation of Eno's plan. Because Eno has also been traveling through timelines looking for something, just like Axe. As she travels around, 
she keeps getting like keeps getting glimpses of this figure, and she doesn't know who it is. Um, and she, just like Axel, has been looking for. Uh, so her plan is to ascend to godhood. Pretty to do one. that, to do that, she plans on with Happy Chaos stealing the Tome of Origin, as I said, and yeah. using that to give her more powers, basically, than the one she's already has. Um, because she is as as of now, like throughout most of this years, she's just a regular witch, and witches can just time travel. There just uh -oh. aren't a lot of them. Like she's basically the last witch. How 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 do you get to be the last witch if you can you, time you travel? Live. You no, survive. No, I mean, like, how the you other live. witches die. You're all time travelers. It's pretty easy. El Bozo. I guess, yeah. Axel, by the way, isn't a witch or, like, a wizard. He gets his time travel shit through some other bullshit. He gets, like, jumped by a gang, and when he comes to, he can time travel or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's... Yeah, buddy, I think he died in that alleyway. It's actually known that, like, <laughs> one out of five Chicago residents are time travelers. <laughs> oh, well, Chicago... <laughs> He, uh, it was the Victorian era, and he was in, like, a knife gang in Britain. <laughs> what? Yeah, Axel is, like, super hardcore British, oh whereas God. I think the only other British character is, like, Bridget, and she's low-key British. Yeah. Eno is restored to godhood, or gets her godhood, and then she's defeated. She's defeated uh, by everyone else whooping her ass except Soul Bad Guy. You know what happens to Soul Bad Guy? What happens what? to Soul Bad Guy? He dies. Whoa! No! No! Soul Bad Guy why. becomes Soul you Dead Guy? You want to know why he dies? Why? Why? He dies because Asuka, that man, wants to wants to return him to his humanity. Which is, to be fair, it's what Soul wants too. Like he yeah. just wants to be Frederick again with Arya. And though he has Arya back, um, he's still not human, and he knows that. And so Asuka shows up on the scene, attempting to put things right. He takes away from Soul Bad Guy the flame of corruption. Which severely weakens Soul. He does this, by the way, in the middle of his fight. <laughs> what? Okay, oh. Not the best time, brother. No, and so and so Soul Bad Guy loses and dies. Well, I did say the law was being explained by a crazy person, so it's Editor Remy and Editor Warpug stepping in here to fix a teeny tiny kind of minor mistake he may have made in this multi-hour game of fluid fueled telling of Guilty Gear's law. Warpugs. Soul doesn't die. I'm just wrong. Uh, not only does he not die, um, he's just, com he's fine. He gets a little sleepy during the fight. He's okay. Uh, he retires from fighting and the, the character known as Soul Bad Guy dies. Uh, but Frederick, who is the same person, continues to live, moves somewhere with Arya or, or Jacko, uh, and they live a happy life running a garage while also trying to build a rocket to fly to the moon to visit that man. Every word of what he just said was true, actually. So uh, you can totally believe that, or else we've been lied to by the wiki. All right, back to the video. Yay. Vernon ends up becoming the president. Uh, nice. He hires Giovanna, the Brazilian lady with a dog. Uh, oh, no. named, God, yes. Ray, mm, mm, her whoa, spirit wait. wolf. Whoa, whoa there. Wait, she doesn't like alcohol and cigarettes? Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. She's also, fuck, the point. She's also interested in Leo and has fuck. a voice line. When she fights Leo, she has a voice line talking to her dog about how she'll have to knock him out first before she takes him. <laughs> oh my god. Let's wow. fucking go. I like uh, that. Ramathal <laughs> looks up to Leo. A lot of Leo is just a good person. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wait, War, War, look at Jacko <laughs> in that I got, look at him again. <laughs> Scroll down a little bit. <laughs> I just realized. The first woman in history to be leader of the whole planet was erased from history. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. That's a big dub for the boys. Up top, I, gentlemen. I, <laughs> that's it, man. That's the complete other than oh, other than other god, than me being simply much. overwhelmed with information. Oh. Because again, again, I stress to you, I had um eight pages a fucking 10 point font times new roman lore to go through yeah um with dates and shit i made this i made a timeline these are the two main credits that war has thanked for his writing of this guilty gear lore uh so thank you to woolly versus and thank you to all those who have ever written the series timeline on the guilty gear wikipedia when eno is defeated not only does she not die she actually replaces herself with the the very first, like one of the very first iterations of her to travel through time, yeah. um, which is good because Eno has been on some fuck shit. She basically replaces herself with a younger, more evil version of herself from back in time 
yeah. uh, and goes on to hunt down Axel and be like, it's me, you fucking moron. <laughs> <laughs> and so they, they also get their happy ending. Aww. That's so fucking cute. Care to explain how Robot Kai and Venom are fucking? They're just fucking, dude. And then if, if nothing else, if there's anything you should take away from this video... Uh, or, or take away from all of this, it's this video right here. <laughs> all right, I got, I got this video. Here we go. Right, wife. Here we go. Life good. Kill wife. Wife gone. <laughs> Think about wife. Wife, wife fight, fight back. back. <laughs> wife. Wife gone. <laughs> That's a lot of wife Think gone for wife. Wife. wife gone. Wife fight back. Kill wife. Wife gone. Think about Kill wife. Kill wife. Wife <laughs> gone. Do you, you think he enjoys it at this point? At a certain point. 